Today, the squad is going to be reading Wattpad stories written by fans. A lot of these stories are super hilarious and some get super weird. So make sure you watch throughout the whole video and let us know which story made you cringe. Oh, <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. First story we're reading is called Her Obsession by Lucas Lost Eyelash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, God. my eyelashes are not lost. <laughs> Let's read it! So, could you, like, go on a date with me, maybe? Uh, sure, Stacy. Yay! I'll see you tomorrow at five. Bye! As soon as she got up, she kissed me right on the cheek. Ew, that was just weird. Well, whatever. Next time for next class. I'm going on a date with light. I'm going on a date with light. What? What the hell happened to lights? Huh? What is that? Is anybody there? Ah, what is that banging? I grab my towel and wrap it around my body. As I get out of the shower, I see a paper. Don't turn around. What the? You should have listened. Hey, what are you? You, you, you stay back. You're not going anywhere. As the unknown person dragged the girl by her hair, she took out her sharp tool. Leave me alone. You should have never asked him that. Let's see how people react tomorrow. <laughs> Breaking news. 16-year-old has been found dead on school shower room. No trace or marks have been found yet. Light, you are the light of my world. <laughs> well, that was cringish. Hmm? Oh, hey, Alex. Hey, Charlie, did you hear the news? Yeah, poor girl. I don't even want to imagine what she went through. Uh, yeah, I know. It gave me chills. But anyways, other than that, they're canceling school for a week since... Yeah, uh, that thing happened. We could throw a party! Oh, yeah! Party at my house? This... Hmm... Friday sounds like a good day! Oh, I'm going to text some invites to some of our people in school. Which is... Around... 68 people? You know what? You do you, Alex. Yay! But I'm going to need you and the squad's help with the decorations, so come on, let's go! Wait, right now? Yes! Let me just get my stuff, but BRB! Oh, oh, don't take long. After putting all the decorations up... Well, we're done here. I'll see you guys on Friday! After we all said our goodbyes, I went to look for Light, and he didn't look so good. Hey, Light? Oh, hi. Are you okay? Did something happen? Is it my fault? About... Well, Stacy, she... <gasps> Don't feel guilty about that. You're not the one who did it, right? Yeah, you're right. I just feel bad, that's all. Well, other than that, I'll see you at the party this Friday. I gave him a small hug. Oh, his sweet scent was all over me. I could cuddle him all day long. You're so creepy. <laughs> I'm very creepy in this story. <laughs> oh, didn't see you there. It is our light. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, didn't see you there. It is our light from Inquisitor Master asking you to subscribe. If you do, you get your very own Light X reader fanfic. Here's a sneak peek. You wanted to impress Light with skateboarding, but you were bad at it. You place your foot on the board and try to move, but you lose balance and fall backwards. You feel yourself being wrapped in someone's arms. It is me, Light. Oh my gosh, are you okay, subscriber? I saw you practicing out here and I thought you could use some help. Light takes your hand and helps you move on the skateboard. You feel like you're flying. This is so fun, subscriber. But you know it'd be more fun. He leans in to whisper in your ear, helping us to get to 90 million subscribers. Woo! Subscribe today so we can start recording our special. Woo! Okay, guys, this next story is called Adopted by Levite by Kawaii Sweetie. Light sat with his head buried in between Levi's side. Something had been on his mind lately. That something? being a child. Light's wanted one for a while now, but Levi's not really a fan of kids. He was so lost in his thoughts that he didn't notice Levi shaking him. He flinched and turned his head to look at him. I asked you if you wanted to order pizza for dinner. Light nodded his head. Levi looked at him concerned. Is everything okay? Light sighed. <sighs> Something's been on my mind lately. Why don't you tell me about it? Levi gave Light a warm smile. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty Light! <laughs> 
I want a child. I know you're gonna say no. Levi laughed. <laughs> I would love a child. You will? Yeah. We're both boys. Well, we could adopt. Okay. Sora. Well, uh... <laughs> Keep your laughs to yourself, Sora. Levi, <laughs> Sora, okay. Sora, mute. No. Sora, mute, please. Shut <laughs> up, Art. You're gonna make me make me do this, all right? Oh, Don't laugh. On. We could adopt. Okay, when? Uh, well, we could go now. Light nodded and smiled. Light jumped out of the passenger seat, excited. Come on, Levi! Levi chuckled I'm as coming. he got out of the driver's seat. Light took a hold of Levi's hand and dragged him into the adoption center. Inside, there was a woman standing at the front desk. Hello! How can I help you? We would like to adopt a baby. Please, come with me. Levi and Light followed the woman into the room that said baby room. Levi and Light walked over to a crib. Inside, there was a baby with bright blonde hair. They picked up the file. Name, Rogue. Gender, Male. Age, Three months. They smiled yeah. at the baby, but walked over to the crib beside him. Levi laughed. <laughs> they, they look just like you. Light joined in Levi's laughing. <laughs> name, no name yet. Gender, female. Age, one day. Insert information. <laughs> <laughs> Light looked at her lilac purple hair. It was beautiful, even though she only had a few strands of it. Levi and Light smiled at each other. She's definitely not perfect. That's a lie. I don't want a lilac purple hair. No name. One and day they, old baby. Levi, and they, whose baby is that? Who left their baby one day old? This one is Luca's Diary by Why Am I Alive? Like Bruh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Interesting account uh -huh. name. Okay, before we start, listen, I secretly have a crush on an orange bestie, but who's ever reading this, don't tell her. I saw an ice cream truck in the middle of the woods. It was about one mile away from the park, so I had to hurry because I didn't want the ice cream to melt. It had a cute drawings on it, but one thing stood out to me that said, deadly disease ice cream that only the coolest could handle. <laughs> I was a little dumb and I ordered me and my orange bestie it. We ended up getting sick and now orange bestie at my house. Wait, she coming towards me right tomorrow. Bye. You have another orange bestie, Luca? <laughs> no, no, I, uh, uh. Next chapter! 12.38 a.m. It was the morning and Orange Bestie is getting ready because we're going to Princess A's house today. Okay, right now Orange Bestie is driving so I can't write for so long, but I promise when I leave, I write it again. It will be really juicy. Hey guys, you know, we're really close to 9 million subscribers, right? Well, if you help us get there, I'll give you a taste of the subscribers only Jax X Reader fanfic. You arrive at Jax's farm with the lunch you prepared for him. He's been busy working up a sweat from harvesting his potatoes all day out, out on the field. You call out for him from the barn and notice that Jax was shirtless and he had a six pack. He's so hot, you thought as he began walking towards you. Hey subscriber, thanks for getting me some lunch. Do you want to eat together? Jax asks while wiping the sweat from his forehead. I set up a picnic over there right next to a subscribe button. We can't have lunch without subscribing to the greatest channel of all time, Inquisitor Master. All right, back to the other stories. This one is called Plot Twists and it's by I, not Light. Light? Light you wrote this one? You wrote this one? Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. <laughs> I can't Whoa. wait to see it. I swear to God, she makes my heart beat so fast. The first time it happened, I was confused. My heart never fluttered like that for anyone, not even Light. I tried to date him, just to cover up my feelings, but I never got a chance. What did I expect? Light just wasn't into me. I had been in deep thought until someone nearly shouted my name. Charlie? The voice said before tapping my shoulder. I snapped back into reality before looking up from the ground. It was Alex. My heart started racing. So many butterflies fluttered inside my stomach. She looked at me with confusion and worry before speaking again. Uh, is everything okay? Alex said, looking deeply in my eye, waiting for an answer. It took a few seconds before muttering a small, yes, leaving her with a still worried look on her face. Charlie, you don't have to tell me if it's personal, but don't hesitate to talk about it. She spoke again, but this time softly. Why does her voice make me so happy? She always leaves me so flustered for no reason. Just everything about her is so admirable. Her voice, everything. Uh, Charlie? She asked. This time her voice shook a bit. I'm guessing she felt bad. 
what if she, she's in, she's the reason I'm like this? I've got an answer. Uh, it's, it's nothing, really. My head has just been all stirred up about someone. Every time you think of them, my heart flutters and I just sit there with butterflies swarming my stomach. And I can't do anything about it. I've tried everything, even avoiding them. Just because I knew if I saw her one more time, it would drive me insane. I would freak out to the point where I think I'm in the brink of tears. And here I am now confessing to them right now. I replied without realizing that last part. A tear had managed to escape my eyes. Why did this have to happen to me? There, Alex stood with an expressionless face, her jaw having a slight drop. Uh, Alex? I asked, snapping her out of it. You, you, you like me? She responded, her face having a slight red tint to it. Huh? My voice cracked as tears started raining from my face. Alex took a step closer to me before wiping the tears off the right side of my face. She pulled me closer before her lips met mine. Ooh, we kissed Alex. Wow. It ended within a few seconds, but it was the most magical few seconds of my life. My heart was left pounding as the usual, and my heart was left fluttering all over the place. There, I feel the same, said Alex with a small smile, which had grew every second. I was left there, still in shock, my mouth unable to move. I had stood there, taking deep breaths, attempting to calm myself down before speaking <laughs> once more. That was amazing, I replied, my voice being slightly loud. Oh no, that is not what I meant to say. <laughs> okay. Wow. I think and got... talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> This one's called Dreams, a Char Luca fan fiction by Anat Alexis. Well, I'm in love with two people, I think. Charlie sort of explains. What do you mean by I think? Alex asked. Well, you know I like light. Charlie began. But recently, I've been having dreams of Luca. Oh, wait, what? Alex asked confusingly. Yeah, in the dreams, me and Luca would go on dates. But the time we are about to kiss, I wake up! Charlie explains. Well, you definitely have a crush on Luca. Alex answers. What am I going to do? I have to stay loyal to Light! Charlie exclaims. <laughs> Don't <laughs> laugh at me. <laughs> you told me to do this, okay? <laughs> and you're doing a great job, buddy! Charlie, let's face it. Light doesn't like you. Alex says. A little harshly. <laughs> you guys, you guys, come on. Come on. Hold it together. Come on. But what about those times he flirted with me? Early wines. In other words, if you're in love with two people, choose the second. Because if you really love the first, you wouldn't have fallen in love with the second. <gasps> Alex finally explains. But what if? No buts about it, Charlie. I'm stating facts. Alex said. Cutting Charlie off. I guess you're right. Charlie answers. Anyway, the real reason why I'm here is that we're having breakfast together. Wanna join? <gasps> of course! <laughs> oh, what? Sorry! Did you just cut off my ass? <laughs> Come on. This is the last point, Charlie. I'm sorry. This is the most, the most, the most important part. I'm sorry. Of course! <laughs> Charlie answers with glee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, next story is called I Hate You, But I Love You Too. <laughs> Sora. It is by Poopy Loves underscore Sora XX. <laughs> Poopy Love. <laughs> yeah. Somebody I said the underscore. I was just playing Roblox when my mom barged in and she looked angry. What's this then, huh? She shouted while showing me her phone, which had me in the squad's most recent video playing. I was confused at first, then it hit me. Me and Jack, she knows. I was frozen. I couldn't move. I just didn't know what to say to her. I was too scared to even look at her because I knew she was homophobic. Got nothing to say to me, she said instead of shouting, but she still had an angry tone. I, I don't know. I stuttered. It was all that was wanting to come out of my mouth. Well then, you can pack your bags and go. I don't want to see you. Please, mom, I have nowhere to go. I cried, though I know she didn't care. That's not my problem, is it? She finally left after that. And I was just left alone to cry while I was packing, not knowing where I would go. I was just grabbing some food from my new kitchen in my new apartment. When I heard my phone ringing, it was Sora. What did he want now? Hey, Sora, what's up? Jax, I got kicked out. What? Why? Just pick me up, please. Uh, okay. I hung up the phone as quickly 
Oh, you were quick. You, you can't have picked up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on my way. <laughs> He's jumped out the window right near your car. <laughs> oh, okay. I quickly rushed to my car. I was really worried about Sora. He got kicked out? He didn't even tell me why, but I could tell he was crying by his voice. I eventually got to his house. He was waiting for me with all of his stuff packed. He was also crying. Hey, Sora, want me to put your stuff in my car? I, I can help. He stuttered. No, just get in the car. I'll, I'll do it. I said as I opened the car door for him. Uh, okay. He said. He was still in shock about the fact he was kicked out. After Drax got all of Sora's stuff in the car, you want to tell me why he got kicked out? I said. She found out that I'm gay. He said without stuttering. He almost sounded annoyed. It's not my fault that you decided you wanted to flirt in the video, is it? I said. So it's my fault? Sora said, definitely angry. We didn't talk the rest of the way there. At my house. Dex, I'm sorry. I don't know how long I'm going to be here for. Sora said, looking down. Hey, it's, it's okay. I said as I lifted his chin up and kissed him on his cheek and went to the kitchen. Kissed my cheek and went to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> He's just covered he just that. <laughs> There's only one bedroom, you know. He said with a smirk on his face. At that point, I was a blushing wreck. Where am I meant to sleep, I said. With me, we can have puddles. Ooh. He said oh. creepily. Mm. Sora <laughs> unpacks his stuff. I'm tired, I yawned. Go to bed then. He said, <laughs> kind of sassy. <laughs> I walk upstairs and steal one of Jax's hoodies and get comfy in his bed, and I fall asleep in no time. I walk into my room and see Sora asleep in my hoodie. He is a silly goose. <gasps> I am not! Uh -oh. I, I get wow. in. Uh, wow. I, I, uh, I didn't mean that, I swear. I get in with him and cuddle him, and I fall asleep. Well, that's cute. <laughs> okay. Except for the silly goose part. Yeah, I'm not uh, a silly goose. Uh, I mean. No, you can have it. You can be the silly goose. No, I am a serious duck. Okay.